guys, welcome to another episode of Up Pompey. Um, I just want to try and make this episode slightly shorter. Um, it's about half one in the morning. Um, I want to try and get a couple of episodes done so that if there is any point a time where I'm unable to record one day, um, hopefully this way I will be able to um, upload still each day and catch up again. So I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible, as I say. Um, last month, fantastic month, as you can see at the bottom there from the Corby uh, result downwards, that was last month. Um, I won Manager of the Month, Connor Chaplin won Young Player of the Month. Completely deserved. Um, we had a really good month. This month's gone just as well as the last couple of months. Um, we started off with... If I can uh, get it working, there we go. A 1-0 win away at Newport County in the FA Cup second round um, dominated possession that's pretty much been the story of this month domination as far as possession goes and being able to pick up the goals Ada Havar with the goal in this one uh, we followed that with a 2-1 win at home against Leighton Orient they were 1-0 up through Jack Payne after 15 minutes but McGurk equalised before Kubomia sort of a forgotten man um, as far as our season's been going. He's sort of stepped up to the plate again the last couple of uh, this month. Um, been using him a bit more and got him training in uh, certain ways so that he can, beco uh, can become more useful for us uh, with Roberts still out injured. Um, I was in the JPT Trophy self semi final and we have been drawn against Plymouth in the uh, southern final. Uh, next up, Hartlepool at home. Matt Tubbs and Carl Bennett with the goals again fully deserved, absolutely dominated them uh, considering they were third in the league as well I'm very happy with that performance then 2-1 win away at Northampton uh, Tubbs and Bennett again with the two goals and Calvert-Lewin with the goal back from Northampton again not really much more I can say it's this domination here, the possession and the shots that really are important to us. And I've noticed we're giving away a lot of less fouls recently in certain games, so that's good to see. And then we followed that up with a 0 0 draw away at Lane Orient. We weren't good enough, really. Matt Tubbs missed a penalty. We would have been lucky to w win this. Possession wise, again, domination. Shots, not good enough at all. Um, and that should lead us nicely into today's game here at home to Luton Town. Um, so, I think the best thing to do is just get straight into it. Um, so, I've had to play Clark back there the last game, but Ender Stevens is still out injured, unfortunately. Um, so, Clark will have to go there. Jack Watmore is very nearly back. I cannot wait to have him back. Um, ben Close, can, Doyle can go back in there. Fotheringham and Dunn have both been fantastic in the middle for us um, as of late both done really well, done a really good job for me. Um, we have brought in someone on a trial, Fankety Dabo from Chelsea. Um, he is someone I'm maybe looking at bringing in on loan when we can. I tried to sign him, this deal is perfectly fine by them, 99k in total, um, excess, uh, potential value in excess of 120,000. Trouble is, he's not interested in uh, contract talks. So we may just have to bring him on on loan and hope that maybe we can, if he does well, get him in again next season. So yeah, this uh, this is that is it really. Um, it's time for the game against Luton Town. So uh, actually, that's about tactics wise. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy controlling the game. Hopefully, we can uh, get a bit of control here. I'm a bit worried about Craney. We really Stevens is injured still um, unfortunately the bruised jaw not completely helpful really is it uh, we've not got a few of our players have got really low match fitness I'm not too sure why um, there's a lot of players there I know obviously some of them haven't been playing very much Bocco's still yet to play for us Evans has barely played Ben Close has yet to play this but he's played four games this season all as a sub he's done well though um, Ben Davies is back but fitness again so we're just going to have to try and hope we can get through this game and maybe 
look at bringing in some reinforcements afterwards because this will lead us into January. Uh, let's try and yeah, yeah. Let's try and get the morale up a little bit before the game. So fingers crossed, it'll be another great result. Uh, we've only dropped points once this season, uh, once this month. It would be great if we only dropped points once this season going into January. Um, once this month in the last game against Leighton Orium. Um, it's Chaplin now. He can't quite find the ball, but Dunn has been tackled. And Luton bring the ball away. Mikhail Smith at wide. Gale does well there. Back to Murphy. Shitu. Into Burgess. McGurk. And that's the end of that. <laughs> So I said we've we've done very well. I've been very impressed with us as of late. Um, you know, if as long as we can continue this, I can't see us having a problem um, in the league this season at all. We should go up with ease. Craney to Chaplin, back to Craney, Fotheringham to Dunn. Dunn, can he find the pass? He's gone for goal and it's well wide. Interesting shot there. Gale with really long throw to Shitu to Dunn. Dunn now to Fotheringham. Chaplin. Chaplin's done well here. Can't quite find a pass though. He's been tackled. Carl Smith. Balls play through to Smith and they're, they're clean through there. That's 1-0 to Luton. And that was, that was not not good. <laughs> that was absolutely dreadful really. Um, I'm going to do what I did against Leighton Orient in the cup when we went 1-0 down. Change things straight to attacking from control. Um, Hopefully that will give us a bit more going forward. Shitty now. Bennett. It's Chaplin. Chaplin now. Can he find a pass? He's gone wide. He's drifted wide. He's done well there. Tubbs. Oh, it's one all. Brilliant cross from Chaplin. Tubbs with the equaliser. And that is exactly what I wanted to happen as soon as I changed it to attacking. Chaplin's ball into the near post. He's hit it in low and Tubbs has smashed the ball past the keeper. And we have our equaliser. Can we push on now and use that momentum from the uh, equaliser to try and grab a second? Got a long way to go yet still. Barely just getting to the half hour mark. Committed a lot of fouls in this game. Smith done the strange head of McGurk now. It's back to Murphy. For so oh, oh wow. I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> McGurk wisely passed it back there and Murphy smashes it straight against Mikhail Smith. It's come back off Murphy and Smith just Mikhail Smith's just uh, found the bottom corner from an open goal. I really don't know what else to say there. That was amazing. <laughs> Craney back to Murphy, back to Craney. Craney into Burgess. Forward. Hit of the way, but Shitu collects Craney into Fotheringham. Bennett now. Bennett cuts inside. He's done well here. He's done well to cut inside. Back to Craney. Fotheringham. Tubbs. Back to Bennett. Bennett now. Can he uh, find the cross here? He's done well. He's keeping the ball well. Oh, somehow. Kyle Bennett has equalised. It's two all. That's his tenth of the season. Bennett is, he did well to beat his man there, he's played the ball across, it's deflected away, back to him, and he's, I think he not made the keeper there, by the looks of things, and it's 2-all, just like that. It's instant highlight, and Hall has the ball for Luton, plays out wild to Josh McCoy, he's past Craney, ball's in, and Hall has made it 3-2, 3-2 three -two. Three -two to Luton, and this is an interesting game. <laughs> All five shots have ended up in the back of the net. All five shots on target, sorry, have ended up in the back of the net. Another instant highlight, Fotheringham. Chaplin. Tubbs. Smith now. O'Donnell. McCoy. It's ball forwards. Collected by Shitu, but it's Murphy now. Burgess. Oh, that was a dodgy pass. Shitu. Long ball headed f away, and Luton have the ball again with Hall. Carl Smith, Doyle, through to Smith. It's four. How? I, I 
really don't know what's going on here. 4-2 down, and we're not even at half time. What a game this is turning into. I'm absolutely oh I <laughs> I'm lost for words, I really am. They are letting themselves down here. Um big time. I don't really care, I'm gonna have a massive go at all of them. Um we're gonna have to make some subs here definitely. Uh gonna take Fothering them off for door. The trouble is none of them have played particularly badly. Um well Burgess has. Burgess has been shocking. So he can come off as well. Gale's not been great. Murphy's done bad. Done bad? That's that was uh proper good grammar there. Doyle's just come on and he's given away a free kick. Good times. We just seem to be all over the place. We we're not defending at all. try and control the game a bit more but then we're going to lose a bit of our attacking impetus this way Doyle with the free kick well wide all we've got to do is hit the target and it's going to go in this game apparently Gurk it's hit the target but saved and that is the first save that either keeper has made from a shot on target balls in from Doyle it's headed away to how Smith comes away with the ball. Uh, I'm going to stick it on overload. There's not much else we can do here. I'm hoping this is just a freak game that we're never going to see the likes of again. <laughs> Shitu's header to Bennett. Carl Bennett now. Can he do anything? It's interesting ball to McGurk. McGurk now. Ball across to Michael Doyle. Oh. Quite get the touch on it from Tubbs. Um, didn't mean to go into that. I'm going to bring McGurk off. He's looking tired. This be all three subs Mead, unfortunately. Bennett is headed away, but Gale collects. Cameron Gale forwards was Kuomia. Webster plays the ball down to Kuomia here. Potts gets it clear, but it's only as far as Gale. Gale, can he do anything? He's given it away poorly. Um, I'm going to demand more from them. They have been absolutely dreadful today. Every, I wouldn't say a single one of them has played well. I really wouldn't. Gale there. Just looking at the ratings. 6.8 Doyle, Chaplin, Bennett and Tubbs. Going forward we've been alright. Webster's at a 7. So he's done a decent job the second half since he's come on. Uh, balls out to Gale. Gale into Chaplin. Chaplin now. Oh what a goal! Connor Chaplin. What a fantastic strike that is. And it's 4-3. Can we get that equaliser in the last couple of minutes. A fantastic finish. Unfortunately we made all three subs so we can't bring any fresh legs on. It's going to be it. It's 4-3. That'll be the final whistle soon. It's a good tackle by Gale. He's cleared it away but Matt Tubbs is running to try and get on to the end of this and it's O'Brien. Oh, Tubbs nearly won that. Lenahan, Davis and there goes the final whistle. 4-3 to Luton. An interesting one. We weren't good enough at all. Let's have a look at the stats quick. We're still top by nine points. Still, still nine points clear. Looks like Wickham lost. Uh, Wickham, Wickham, Wickham. Easy to look on here, I think. Wickham. Oh, Wickham drew. Okay, so Wickham got a point. So they might actually be one point closer. But. Four goals in the first 45 minutes. Three goals in seven minutes. That is absolutely shocking. Kelvin Davis is at Luton. 
Interesting. But yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with that at all. And we're gonna have some uh, we're gonna have some hard work ahead of us if we want to try and keep this uh, keep this lead at the top. Um, we're still nine points clear. Oh yeah. Also, third round of the FA Cup. Wolves away. Be interesting to see if they play Jed Wallace. Um, I've been trying to also. I've offered this guy a contract and put in a bid. It's good to see that he's got player of the match there, McHugh of Plymouth. Um, he looks like a very, very good player. Um, play defensive mid or centre back, which is probably where we're likely to play him, if anywhere. Um, he's not going to be on a huge amount of money, so that's not too much of a problem. But he can play anywhere in this middle bit, which is very helpful. Um, he may have to sit in, in the centre mid at some point, but those stats, the stats look very nice. Um, let's see if I can find out how much the offer was. 140k plus 28k if we get promoted, which we probably will. So 168k not too unhappy with that so anyway please please if uh, if you enjoyed this episode um, I didn't I didn't enjoy that <laughs> that game against Luton that was not fun um, please leave a like comment um, subscribe anything uh, I really would appreciate it and I shall see you in the next episode bye bye